How's it going? Evening. An interview? All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. Wambus Troubleham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Oh, uh, what do I think about bugs now? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. None of my dang business. <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel. Liz's partner? I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough.
Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Bunger, bunger, bunger. Scan all the snacks here, but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep. Thank <laughs> you. 
them all. I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Befica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. That Wambus guy is married? What is... Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. All I need to start Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. 
Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town, bestie. Snacksburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. A bit of... Gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> This is the snack activator. Feed me strabby. Poke snack activator in foot. Foot turns into strabby. Understand? <clears throat> Unbelievable. Very good. I will allow you to field test the snack activator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further.
Song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration alone. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me. <laughs> See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. He likes you! Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Always got along well with Lisbert, too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me.
real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two Queebles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate and those Queebles will follow him till the end of time. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-
Here goes. <laughs> I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure, and I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. <laughs> you take care of Sprout, or else. Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bug snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a financial and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Catch you on the f- Hi, Nan. Oh. Mm. Woo! Yeah, that struck a chord. 
With a new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. This flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. <laughs> ah. Is a striking no, and now the ideas will flow. Mm -hmm, they're gonna flow Ooh, any second now. Come on now, uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need, which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs>
well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? <laughs> uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Uh, um... Well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They'd untreated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. <sighs> the next night, I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked, and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Maybe. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lisbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. But sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Can we talk about something else? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Oh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. So long. <sighs> I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my bum. Hi. Uh, another fine day behind us.
You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Befica here, and she's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party! <gasps> I thought you'd never ask! OMG, I have so many hot takes! I'm Befica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. They're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama! We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. Uh, hey! My cave was sweet! Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible, but she does have one weakness. Egabel. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Egabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. Hunting soon? No, 
You need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Igabel, you miss me that much? I just want you in peak hunting condition. <laughs> uh, speaking of, you haven't seen the hall from my latest excursion. Ooh, did you bring me something good? You tell me. It's a brand new snack, and you'll be the first to try it. Oh, Liz, you spoil me. Surprise! I'm back early! And have I got a story for you! Bill. Okay. That's not true. I'm just having one of those days. Every day is one of those days. And something happened. Everything happened. Trifony broke her leg. Cramble got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. And none of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I just sit here all day while everybody else is out there all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. Like when I cut my pool. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks for me. You'd be fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Belle. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. And I'm here for you today. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. I fall to pieces without you. How's it going? You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Beth. You know what we should do? Well, howdy, stranger. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. You remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug-infused. So, it's about as strong as you? I give this party a two out of ten. Uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Woo Drink, mingle, get wild. Bebefica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug Snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love! That's why your wife left you! I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here and- Don't act like you're in charge! If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here! Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want Trippany back so bad? Go find her yourself! 
that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. That's the spirit. Strabby. <laughs> Uh, are, are you okay? I, uh, guess you're allergic to bug... All right, as long as you're fine, I'll... Friend, welcome. Come on over, take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you? Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? Whoa, 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 can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you, cheap as free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? <laughs>
feel that hot, sweaty breeze. Yep, now it's time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Pay. Hey, you can pay me three of those cheap. They think they're so great. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She. 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 Okay, okay. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want to fright her, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock. And I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> Right. 
pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you're my best and only customer. And I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs>
And I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. <laughs> Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough of snakes. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. <laughs> 